News 46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, traffic is blocked by a crash on Highway 160. The commissioners approve a collective bargaining agreement and a large grant is awarded to the Arts Council. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, December 28th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. One person was injured following a collision on the highway last night. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to a vehicle versus motorcycle accident last night on Highway 160 and Irene Street. The motorcycle rider was transported to Desert View Hospital with injuries sustained as a result of this accident. Nye County Sheriff's deputies directed traffic around the accident scene and blocked the roadway in north and southbound directions to attend to the injured rider. How the accident occurred is under the investigation of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. This this is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. An updated agreement has been reached between the county and law enforcement. The county commissioners discussed and deliberated to approve the Nye County Law Enforcement Association's agreement. The collective bargaining agreement was revamped to either define or better clarify the collective bargaining agreement between Nye County and the Law Enforcement Association, which is valid from December 31st of this year through December 30th of 2019. Negotiations between our, our staff, yourself, and everybody. I think we have uh, the best deal we can get here, and I will make a motion to approve this contract, and it will run through June 30th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other comments and con conversing information? Just there, there is a copy that's cleaner um, that I've provided that was some additional just typographical errors and stuff, so it'll be a little tiny bit different than what's in the backup for the cleanup, but nothing substantive. I have it ready for signatures, but I'll change the cover page to represent the thank date you. that you've made a motion, and we'll get that rolling. Thank and you. Uh, I just want to thank those on my negotiating team that yeah. worked so hard, um, Chairman Carboni. You're more welcome. And um, Danelle Shamrell. And... Uh, Savannah came in at the last minute and helped us out and on management Sharon Orley the sheriff. We thank you we thank you as and well we appreciate um, you know everything that you guys did to try and get this done we thank you as well thank you so with that any more questions call for the vote aye aye Zero. New rates for copies and new services being offered by the county were up for discussion at a recent BOCC meeting on the Board of County Commissioners meeting agenda was a discussion and deliberation to adopt, amend, or reject the Nye County resolution for this year to amend a resolution from 2007 setting fees for provisions of copies of public records by Nye County offices and departments. This relates to offices like the County Clerk, Justice of the Peace, Sheriff, County Recorder, and Treasurer, as well as the Assessor, Planning, and Public Works. Therefore, tape recordings, compact discs, paper copies, electronic copies, blueprints, and even copies of maps. Item 48, on possible action discussion in to adopt, amend, adopt, or reject Knight County Resolution 2016-84, Resolution Many Knight County Resolution 2007-44, setting fees for previous provisions of copies for public records. Motion to approve. Second. This is, uh, believe it or not, motion. I got a motion in a second, but I just want to make a comment. Anybody ever got a comment? This is a good thing for everybody because it kind of helps the county and also helps the people looking for the data. It changes, it changes a lot of things around, makes it easy for them, gets them into the digital world, which makes it a lot cheaper for everybody. So it's a good deal. 
All righty. Call for the vote. Aye. 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 President Barack Obama has designated two new national monuments in Utah and Nevada. The announcement marks the administration's latest move to protect environmentally sensitive areas in its final days. The White House says Bears Ears National Monument in Utah will cover 1.535 million acres of tribal land in the Four Corners region. A coalition of tribes pushed to ensure protections for lands that are home to an estimated 100,000 archaeological sites, including ancient cliff dwellings. The 300,000-acre Gold Butte National Monument outside Las Vegas also was named. We'll have your Desert View Hospital health tip after this break.